tennis. And in Norway, you don't uh, play like you don't combine academics with athletics. Yeah. So you kind of you train at a club. And I was honestly, I was not ready to to quit playing tennis just yet. Yeah. So I was trying to get a scholarship here in the U.S. Trying to play tennis, continue combining athletics and academics. Yeah. And I had some people in order to help me out, kind of promoting my scholarship. Yeah. And they reached out, and Stan B. King, that's the coach at Goshen College, yeah. was the one being the most enthusiastic about me coming uh, to the U.S. He was, oh, instead of just emailing, he always wanted to talk, he wanted to Skype, he wanted to get in touch with me more personally than other coaches, and I, I felt like that was that was great. Initially, how I came here was because of soccer recruitment. But when I came for a visit, I uh, discovered the whole new side of Goshen that was beyond soccer. Um, I wanted to uh, go to a Christian college, and I had heard a lot of good things about um, uh, a small liberal arts college, and um, about how they are very good at training leaders. I liked my friends, <laughs> and also I liked the uh, small classes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people here are really nice, friendly, and it's really small enough to know everybody, like, get to know each other well, and then it's just, life in the dorm is just tiny enough to be like, we're all like brothers and sisters and friends, that's what I felt in this, what I felt like, you know, I like it, I want to stay here, get a degree. The main thing I liked, which I didn't like at first, was that it was really small, but you get really used to it, and you actually meet a lot of people because it's small and you become like a family. So it goes in, uh, provides an environment that is very professional and the professors, at least from my uh, department, have been very uh, demanding of us and uh, that way it's enabled us to progress over the years, especially me coming from a community college. It was a big jump, but uh, because of the passion of the professors and it, the learning environment, it's, it's been okay. You get to connect with people, connect with teachers. The ratio student teacher is, is like 11 teachers, no, 11 students for one teacher, and which makes it easy for you to approach your teachers because they have time for you. One of the really good things, like one of the strengths about Goshen College is the community here, and I really, I'm really loving the community. There are like in, there are a lot of things to do, even though it's not a big town, and also there are like good, um, unique things that you can do only in Goshen. So that's why I recommend them to you. Also, like good him education, sing? the hymn sing club. <laughs> there are a lot of yeah, unique clubs and activities. Uh, the global citizen one, I think, was the, is the most uh, the one that I have learned the most from Goshen College. Well for me it's a global citizenship and also I really like the servant leadership idea of the core values. I like compassionate peacemaker. Currently a leader of a black student union and helping and leading the black student union made me realize how being a servant leader is really important. I'm a Christian so being a Christ-centered college was huge for me. Yes, definitely. I would recommend it um, depending on what they want to study or if their majors or um, their disciplines are offered here at Goshen College. I really love the people around here. I think they're so nice. They're always there to help you out if you need some help. I think the academic line is very good. The professors I have in my physics and in my mathematics class are very well educated professors and they know their material very good. They're very enthusiastic about uh, the courses, so it's very fun to be there. Uh, honestly, I think that's, that's very important when you're studying physics and mathematics. And you can find someone that can motivate you. I appreciate the fact that the fewer the student, the better or closer we get to the profs. And the profs are always willing to help when you have problems, issues, even stuff that don't have to do with classes. For somebody who's very far from his country, it helps him, uh, it helps make 
this place which is far from home feel like home.